Hi guys, so another MLB review. This one was really interesting, interesting, very awesome game to watch. Uh, I was actually thought that the Brewers was going to win this game, but I was wrong. Um, but I did predict Orioles to win, so let's get into it. Uh, bottom of the first, Roddy, Roddy, Roddy Tallis grounds out, Willie Adam to second. Christian Yellis scores, it's 1-0. Uh, right after Owen Miller singles to right field, William, William Contreras to second, Willie Adams scores. It's 2 nothing. Doesn't stop there. John Singleton singles to center field, Owen Miller to second, William Contreras scores. It's 3 nothing. right after first. And it goes to seven. Um, so basically, we thought it would be over right there. But that's the only offense the Brewers uh, put. Top seven, Ramon Arias, almost to right field. It's one. It's three one for Brewers. Top eight, Anthony Sen Santander doubles. At Adley Rushman scores. It's three two Brewers. They're coming back. Gunnar Anderson homers to left field. Anti Anthony Center scores. It's four three. For the Oilers after eight, and they they just continue in the ninth because the Brewers didn't come back. Uh, Adam Frazier double to the right field. Josh George Mateo scores. Aaron Hicks scores. Six three finals for the Orioles against the Brewers. Uh, I was not expecting the Orioles to come back, but they did. They're having a really great season so far. Uh, they they um, avoid getting swept by the Brewers in this series. That's really good. Uh, what else is good? They're going to play the Royals next, and Royals are not that great. Uh, it's going to be the same thing for the Brewers. They're playing the, the really bad A's, the worst team in the league. So let's get into the pitching. Um, Cal Bradish was the starting pitcher for the Orioles. Five innings of play. He didn't play very well at the beginning. Six hits, three runs, ten strikeouts. Uh, did, but he still did 10 strikeouts. Keegan Aiken is the winning pitcher with 2-1 one record in the season. He had 1-1, one one, uh, 1.1 1 .1 innings of play, 1 hit, 0 run, 1 strikeout. The 0 run is important. Uh, Gunnar Anderson was really good at bat. 3 at bat, 1 run, 1 hit, 2 RBIs, and 1 home run. Really great game from him. From the Brewers... Colin Rhea was the starting pitcher. Five innings of play. Three, three, three hits, zero run, eight strikeout. He was doing very well. Then they put Peter Shra They put a lot of pitcher, but Peter Shralensky, um, one inning of play, three hits, three runs. One, he allowed a home run, three strikeouts. Uh, he's a losing pitcher. He's 3-5 and five in the year. It's not Colin uh, Rhea's fault. He played very well. He did his part, but the rest of the team didn't help. William Cottrell is uh, four at bat, one run, two hits. Next for the Orioles is they play tomorrow at 8.05 p.m. versus the Royals. They're starting a series against the Royals. The pitcher for the Orioles tomorrow is Tyler Wells. He's 4-2 with a 3.29 ERA. For the Brewers, they start tomorrow at 9 10 p.m. versus A's, they're starting a series against the A's, uh, the, the worst team in the league. Um, pitcher for the Brewers was going to be Adrian Hauser. He's 2 and 1 with a 3.45 ERA. So it was really good game. Um, and both of these teams are going to play really bad teams after this. And it's going to help their record, that's for sure. So let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about this. Like and subscribe. Thank you for all your support. And I'll see you soon with more videos. See you guys.